Hey guys, I'm Jess McDonnell. This is GameSpot News and it's the 23rd of October. I couldn't work Nintendo into any of my jokes today, so they're off the hook. Sony did have a pretty big news day though. Sony have confirmed to Kotaku today that they will be supporting people using their real names on PS4 at launch. Though some of you seem to be taking this as Sony will force this upon you lest you never be able to use their products again. Microsoft will also be implementing real names on the Xbox One but not by their launch date. On all current consoles, players are identifiable through nicknames, but as the way of the internet evolves, the stranger danger attitude seems to have become, please share your personal information publicly so we can make money off of it. It is worth mentioning again though that this is entirely optional. Everything will be alright, I promise. In other PS4 business, the controllers have started appearing at an EB Games outlet in Canada, which we know thanks to Reddit. The DualShock 4 was spotted, but it wasn't clear whether or not the controllers were actually available for purchase. So if you do happen to be in that particular EB in Canada, then do let us know so we can get closer on this currently breaking story. So far, according to a lot of you, Sony haven't been doing all that well on the PS4 hardcore exclusives front, but according to them, they're going to come back swinging. In a commercial today, they said the PS4 has 24 exclusive titles in development and 180 titles in total and then make a point of reminding people that this is more than what the Xbox One is offering. Are you more excited for the PS4's lineup and potential lineup or the Xbox One's? Do let me know in the comments down below. In my favorite story of the day, Sony seem to have forgotten how the internet works as they're currently trying to get naked pictures from Beyond Two Souls off of it. The fruitless endeavor in which Sony is reportedly trying to wrest porn away from Reddit is happening because the publisher says that the images of protagonist Jodie Holmes were obtained through a PS3 debug console and are very damaging to Ellen Page. Just as damaging as any instance of sticking an actor's head onto a made-up body could be, I guess. The Eskimo Press is reporting that Sony say the images must be pulled for legal reasons and are going to great lengths to remind gamers that the naked bits are not really Ellen Page. I'm going to make an educated guess that this is probably going to go the same way as when Beyonce's lawyers tried to get that unflattering picture of her off the internet and now Reddit make a point of posting it every month or so. Sorry Sony, the internet always wins. In our last story of today, former EA CEO John Riccatello is saying that publishers should be careful of pricing because $60 is a giant F you to a very large number of people. He made the comment at the Gamer Insider Summit and must have made it somewhat ironically, seeing that is exactly what his ex-company rolls out on an annual basis. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind gamers and placate the Australians and Europeans who are regularly paying 100 US bucks for new release games. But nonetheless, pricing is an important factor. What do you guys think is a fair price to pay for a new release game? You can let me know in the comments down below or on my personal Twitter at Jess McDonald. Commiserations for the price of Australian games is also appreciated. That's all I've got for you today, but be sure to continue commenting, subscribing and clicking buttons as you do. I'm Jess McDonald and I will see you again soon.